Writing proposals on Freelancer don't need to be a hard task. Now, this video is dedicated towards helping you to become better when writing your Freelancer proposals. So you learn the exact thing to say, how to showcase your skills in the best way possible, and how to convince the hirer that you are the best candidate. Consider watching till the end to get all the nuggets of wisdom. My name is Vince. And welcome to Actionable User, where we help you become more actionable when using Freelancer.com. Without taking up much of your time, we'll dive into this video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm currently logged in, and this is how it looks. There are a couple of jobs already listed over here, or I can just go ahead and search here. So let me type content writing, and I'm going to click on search. So it's searching and there are a couple of options here on the first page whereby I can go through all of them then go to the next and the next and the next pages so there is this relate text so I can read the snippet over here relate and edit blog articles yeah, with a word count of less than 200 yeah so guys I've gotten this one whereby the title is content rating and this is the amount of money that they're paying in US dollars and they said that they are paying on delivery it was posted nine hours ago and it is still open so I can still apply and it ends in six days so this is a good time so I'll start by reading all this and it says that this person is looking for a writer to complete a 100 page educational project the subject matter of the project is education and the expected level of detail of the content is a basic overview. The preferred format of the content is text only. So this potential hire has explained all this and now the ideal skills and experience that the person should have so that they can get this job. So here you can see strong writing skills. You can see experience in educational writing, ability to convey complex information in a clear and concise manner attention to detail, proficiency in research and analysis, and you can see some of the keywords over here relating to this project. So more information about this project is there are currently 77 proposals and it is a remote project so there is no showing up in a physical location. Uh, it is currently open for bidding and the hire was active one hour ago. And can see here more information like the bid amount here and your email and the benefits of freelancer and other information then here below you can see other people who are applying to this job and all this other information now once I've read all this information about what the client requires I'm going to go and open Microsoft Word. Now, this person is saying that they are looking for a writer to complete a 100-page educational project. So the project is educational in nature, as they have repeated here and they had earlier mentioned here. Over this side, I'm going to begin with a hello and with a comma. Then, that is the salutation part, where I'm greeting them. That is simply a way to break the ice. Then I'm going to begin my sentence here. I see that you require assistance in educational project writing. Now, the person has stated that it's an educational project, so I've just repeated the word educational project writing here. Then I'm telling her that I can help you in that sector and can commence right away. So this is to inform her that she doesn't need to take so much time in scrutinizing or waste a lot of time in the interview process, the work can begin right away and I'm just informing her that I'm ready to begin the work. Then I'll go ahead and tell her that I believe I'm a perfect match for your task since I've been involved in multiple numerous related work for diverse clientele. Now here she stated that she wanted someone who is experienced in educational writing. And in this paragraph, I'm assuring her that I'm the perfect match for this task because 
I already have that experience since I've already been involved in multiple numerous related work for a diverse clientele. Then I'm going ahead and adding that over the years I have written well-researched content for academic and teaching purposes. Now, here she used the words educational project and I didn't want to use the word educational again so as for it to be kind of unique and note that I just copied all these words and inserted them here. I've avoided the word educational on these other paragraphs. I've used the word academic whereby I'm telling her that over the years I have written well-researched content for academic and teaching purposes and other related tasks. The words I've used are academic and teaching. Now that is the same as saying educational but I want to be perceived as more unique and someone who has read and understood all this project. I'm going to tell her that I deliver well written and preferred work ready for use. So this is informing her that I already have the strong writing skills that she doesn't need to worry about any other thing. After me doing the work all she has to do is deliver it to her students and it will be ready to use. So with that I'm assuring her that I already have strong writing skills. And moving on, she says that this person needs to have the ability to convey complex information in a clear and concise manner. Then the place highlighted with green says that my writing is succinct and straight to the point. So the ability to convey complex information in a clear and concise manner. Now I didn't want to use the word concise again and also clear and also complex because it will be an original and repetitive. So I instead used the words succinct and straight to the point to echo this sentence and you need to come up with creative and innovative synonyms so as to help you stand out. Then the person is saying they need someone with attention to detail. I'm going ahead and in this last sentence of this paragraph I'm telling her that I am keen on instructions and particulars. In other words, saying that I'm attentive to detail. Come up with better words like keen to instructions and particulars just to show her that you've read and understood this and not that you're lazy and copy pasting everything. Then moving on to the last paragraph here. On her last sentence here, she's saying that the person should be proficient in research and analysis. Now, Earlier I had mentioned that my work is succinct and straight to the point and later the sentence continues and says that apart from writing succinct and straight to the point content, the content will engage your audience and take the load of online research and composition off of you. I'm promising her that I'll do a lot of research for her and she'll not have to worry about that. So this is whereby the proficiency in research comes in. You need to reassure her that you'll do proper research and that she'll not need to do any more research and analysis. Make sure that you communicate that you'll do proper online research and you'll analyze all that information that you find before you start doing all this work. On this last line here, I'm telling her that I have attached samples for her and that she should feel free to ask for further clarification if need be. Now, if anything here that I've stated is unclear or she suspects that I may be lacking a particular skill here, she should feel free to ask for any clarification or any samples so as to check that I meet all these criteria. And here below you can sign off and let her know your name or you can just eliminate this part because your account will already say who you are. So guys, I'll make sure that I've gone ahead and selected all this and I'll go to freelancer and paste it in, then I'll send my proposal. So let me do exactly that. Yeah, then I'll copy. After copying, I'll go to freelancer. There's a section here saying that describe your proposal with a minimum of 100 characters. What makes you the best candidate for this project? And I'm going to take my proposal and paste it inside here 
after pasting it in then I'm going ahead I can go through this and change them by increasing them or lowering them but I'll just leave them at this then we can see here below that there are optional packages whereby I can get to sponsor this current bid so by paying this amount I can get to sponsor it or do these other things like highlight it or seal it to make it stand out more then after that there is a clarification board here now I can click on this button to place a bid and I'll do exactly that after clicking on that I'm being told that you have successfully placed a bid now this is my proposal over here and I'm being told that if I find that I want need to edit something I can click on edit and I can change some piece of information or if I need to retract my proposal I can just click on retract here and it will be retracted to know more information about the progress of my application I can just come here to recent messages and I'll see the messages lined up here so if you get a reply this is where it will be that is how you can easily come up with the best freelancer proposal also remember that I've created other freelancer tutorials like how to apply for jobs on freelancer.com and you can find that linked in the description box below remember to leave me a comment on which other video you like to see me make next like this video subscribe to this channel and guys I'll see you on another video goodbye